Welcome back everyone uh, to the Lost Aqualand and welcome in the first episode with the brand new 1.9 update and the Wetlands DLC. So today's episode is going to see the addition of the Red Crowned Crane in this beautiful habitat. I know we said this is going to be the KP Barra, but I do have actually a better idea for the KP Barra. Before we start, um, I am going to show you some things um, in here, what we are going to do. Let's first of all check what is going no, no keepers assigned. No keepers assigned. No, wait. Otter habitat cannot be reached due to possibly work zone setup. Okay, well, see, this is a good point that we have to check that first. Um, so let's first of all employ one more staff member keeper over here. And this one is going to take care of our friends, the otters. So we are going to make a new work zone. And we're going to create that work zone with all these things in mind. And this is going to be the otter. And we hit enter. And so that should be fine. Um, there should be this one solved. And then we've got many things. Tickets are underpriced. Well, we gotta take care of that real quick. Um, so let me just quickly do this. I'm um, gonna make this 39. And this is gonna be 34. Dangerous fighting to overcrowding is sealed. Okay, so I've got to fix a couple of things uh, first. So cannot be uh, reached because it's not in a work zone, right? Do we have a work zone in the center where we have some... Um, uh, let me go for the staff members, work zones, African penguin, seal, polar bear, otter. Okay, well, we gotta, we got to include that in the new habitat indeed. So uh, it doesn't really make sense to do something now. Uh, we're going to bring this in with this backstage area here. We still have to connect everything. They have to walk quite a bit, so it's not super inefficient what we are doing. So at some point, we need to put down some more backstage buildings. I'm tempted to put down one here or so, but not quite yet. Anyways, I was actually talking about what is going on i'm sorry for the rain by the way this is just the game now we just made the otters last time uh, as a proper habitat and we are focusing now on this area however um i definitely want to make a habitat for the small clawed otter i first of all thought of this one over here because that's located very nicely in this region um, but this is more like the Arctic region, so it doesn't really fit in here that well. Um, so I may be going to do something about this one, even though it was planned for the flamingos, but we could always move the flamingos a tiny bit to another spot. Um, so just saying, I'm, I'm thinking very much about the otter, um, the small clawed otter to find its space in here, even though I'm really tempted to take that one and maybe just make like a nice backlog so that this is the Arctic and this is more like the rainforest area here. Not quite sure. You can comment about this. Maybe I'm going to uh, take care of that. I have no idea if I have the time to read the comments up front or if to have to, you know, um, record everything in one go. I'm not quite sure. It's all a bit of a preparation work here. Now, let's do stuff now, um, finally, before uh, our our area is going to be... Oh, first of all, let's uh, fix the dangerous overcrowding issue. So, how many animals do we have? Okay, so we could get rid of this one and we can this is already overcrowding okay well mate uh, you can first of all unbox all animals that should be a good thing a good thing and then we can okay what about you social space how is that even possible is is there a um, oh no, it's broken again. Oh, I hate this. This is so often that this is broken for whatever weird reason. Um, so I'm gonna move this one by hand here and then it should be fine. Not sure, but um, I'm gonna get rid of the issue rather soon, I guess. Yeah, see, this is now fixed. It's such a weird little issue here and now they should also not be fighting due to overcrowding anymore. Um, but yeah, so this is exhibit, keeper cannot write, uh, yeah, okay, no, not assigned, and this is the vet research. Okay, now can the rain finally go, please? This is all done, they are still researching, quite like that. The restaurant is going to be filled, nice. Um, what we're going to do now is, I have no idea how to do the fence for the crane. Um, in order to find out what exactly we need to do, I'm gonna put a put a habitat gate first of all in and this is going to be here yeah why not we're going to put this here this is very nicely at the back side here i quite like that and now what we're going to do is we have one uh, wooden fence that is going to be here somewhat nice 
And now we're going to take the invisible one and we go all the way around. Look at that, it stopped raining. So I'm stopping the game over here real quick. <laughs> so I'm just going to round this thing off a little. Um, so, and then reconnect here to this wall so we gotta have this proper habitat before i'm going to take uh care oh wait not not quite we just have to adjust this and then we're going to make all of that the wooden wall because i have no idea how high they are jumping so okay well let's see if i can okay i can just make that move through here and then oh look at that it's connected lovely gotta make that a staff path i'm you know, it's fine if it just... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I don't care. We're we going to take care of that later. I just want to make sure that this is going to be fine for the moment. And then we're going to call this Red Crowned Crane. There you go. And um, I already got some, so this is pretty good. But we first of all going to employ a new keeper. I'm going to bring you down here. Oh, look at that, we have a staff room over here. This is pretty pretty handy indeed. Fall down, please. And then we're going to lower your wage and we're going to make a new work zone. It's that one, that one. And you can also take care of those. And this is going to be the crane restaurant area. Boom, there you go. Now you're gonna have to keep her. It's super inefficient how this layout works, but uh, at some point, <laughs> we potentially will take care of that. Look at the look at this. It's it's way too powerful. It's way too powerful. Um, okay, this is done. Nice. I want them to bring me the animals already in. So where are my cranes? I got them already. One, two, three, four. Wait, I got more than four. Where are the other ones? Anyways, I'm just going to bring them in first, and then let's see if I find more cranes. Now they're all being relocated, okay? So maybe I can get more? Oh, look at that, I can. Nice. Yeah, and um, do we have like another female, please? Nice, okay. So I'm gonna send this to the zoo as well. Good, okay, so I'm going to wait until they're being brought in because I need to understand how high they potentially can fly um, or jump or whatever you want to call that uh, behavior. So let's stop this one and then we're going to see traversable area. I am a big fan of the fact that can get here. I'm not sure. Oh wait, it's because it needs to, it can walk up there, right? Yeah, this is something I don't want them to do. Um, but it's a good knowledge that these things seem to be keeping it from from here. Wait a second. Wait a second, I like that. So what about making this like so? It would be really cool if it looks like as if this is open. I quite like that. All right, okay, so it it might be an idea to just uh, hide this. I just, oh wait, it's not that, it's actually this one, right? The common reads should be the issue. Let me see, just see. I want. I want to make sure that they can't access this area. They can just walk everywhere they want, but um, not there. Love it. Okay, so we need to fence this off here. This is great. This is really good because now let me just see what happens if I use the normal fence. Um, and I guess I'm going to go with this one. I just want to see. Can I? Maybe they are just different than the. Um, I want to see if that works, okay? It's gonna make this stupid fence go here. And then I'm s have a look uh, if, if that works out or not. Because that would be really, really cool if this works. Um, can it show me the nearby boundary? There you go. Okay, so we can follow along this a little bit better. You know, it doesn't have to be precisely there, but... Okay, before I continue and do all the work, I'm just going to quickly check again if that is already enough or if they can jump over that oh they cannot they cannot oh my god guys i'm a i'm a huge fan right now i'm a huge fan um instead of making the fence everywhere i'm going to block the entire back with the reed because that seems to be the way to go so i'm just going to bring the fence a little bit further to the back because that just looks nice uh just having a fence here who knows maybe we have to make a habitat to the other side but that's about it. I'm going to bring the fence to, yeah, to about over here. That's fine. And then let's go and say read, because the common read. And you know what I'm just going to do now? 
Um, let me just have the random rotation. And this is also a new option. I haven't seen that one, but that's random rotation all, which means it, it rotates it on all axes rather than only on, on the, the main one. Um, so that's pretty dang cool. So let me just see what happens if I just do that. It should be relatively easy doing it that way. It would be really cool if that works because then we have a like a double double as nice feature because then they can't go there and it just looks natural like it's it's a win-win for everyone just going to plop them all down bam 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 it's kind of cool with the random rotation not gonna lie so you don't have to worry about this at least i would love to have like an option for the height alternation so that it only alternates the height a little bit that would be really sick well, I'm just going to shut my window. It's getting super windy outside. Okay, so that's nice. Um, let's have a look what the crane tells me now about it. Hello. There's a little lag here. Um, <laughs> it's just simply perfection, guys. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, the only issue we are going to have is the staff tours. Oh, no. It's not that big of an issue. Look, the staff can go all the way around. Nice! So we can use all that way. Now, let's go into... Actually, we can hit play. I, no, not the P. Let me just hit play. And then what time of day is it? it uh, let's not care too much. So, red crowned crane. Awesome. Get rid of blueprints. And then we can just put that one here. We can have a small food bowl. No, wait. Actually, this is stupid. We should put the food bowl um, mm -hmm. here. <laughs> I, I, I was just checking if, if that works. Um, yeah, do they actually need a water trough? I mean, hell, why? I'm going to put one here, so maybe we have to keep her at least go a certain way. Um, I'm assuming that there should be more enrichment than that, right? Because that seems a little bit less enrichment at this point. Oh, we can have this metal frame with the waterfall. Um, I like this piece. At least a little. Maybe we're going to put this here. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... You know... Make sure that it is a little bit hidden away. So it's, it's a bit better. Okay, nice. Um, let's check if, first of all, the staff traversable area still works. Nice, okay. And I'll go back to traversable area and check one of the cranes. Awesome, that works. Okay, enrichment is okay. Species food enrichment is something we don't have. Oh, look at that. We just need to go for grass. And now grass short, you say, is the issue. And what do we have too much? Grass long. Okay, well, well, well. That's not too much of a too much of a problem. I'm just going to draw it all over here. Nice. And you're gonna have to want more soil. Well, why not? I'm just gonna make that a bit more muddy here. And there you go. There you go. Pretty simply done. I quite like that coverage. Hmm. Well, you gotta have to live with that, guys. Um, I, <laughs> I, I mean, so you know. Maybe, though, we can... Okay, so if it's just the reed... Ah, I'm just wondering if I can just get rid of the reed in the middle here. Because seriously, I... I quite don't care if, if the reed is gone in the middle. Would be easy to just have an option to only select the reed to the outside. I, it, ah, it's like, you know, the game has already that option that you can select all the read, but you don't have the option that it is um, only selecting the one in one building group, so that would be even better. Anyways, it's maybe slightly better. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not really It's not really better. Uh, beach tree. So these... Yeah, but we need some trees, man. I mean... Come on, we can get rid of that one, but I need to have this. Okay, this one can go as well. Make that a bit more open. I mean, as, as long as they're doing overall good, it's fine. Okay, enrichment is obviously a problem. But uh, yeah, interspecies bonus. Wait, which is the animal that they can go together with? Um, red, cr red, red crowned, hello? Red crowned crane, there you go, interspecies bonus 
Oh, they go together with the macaque. Well, that's something we won't achieve here, but that's interesting. That is interesting. Okay, um, where's the red crown crane? There you go. Which one is nearly done? Uh, we don't even... Mm. Okay, you go for the crane. And... We need more of those, right? <laughs> it's we, we actually need more research. Uh, good to know. So, seal dangerous fighting for... I really can't understand to why. Okay, so expect injured Kalen. Are they having the same issues again or what is the big deal? <sighs> okay, so how and why would they do this? Last meal quality. So we can actually, first of all, go in and give them better food. Fine, that should be an easy fix. But now tell me why this is a problem. Um, how about that? Social. It's all good. It's all good. They have space. It's all good. So please game. I'm also not sure like why this always appears to be happening because there is still a lot of space for them. They can traverse here and there. It's not even that there is one space in which they have an issue. God, Frontier, that has to be fixed. I'm very sorry to be a bit more picky about this, but it just happens so often. I remember in Tiny Zoo, it was basically impossible to have the, the seals, um, uh, the sea lions. Still, okay. Give me the money, guys. Give me the money. So this is the most appealing animal, is the polar bear. And, well, oh, this is because we only have one exhibit. Sorry, I just... Uh, Okay, view report. What's the issue here? Habitat 4, 4.5. How about King Penguin 4, Seal Habitat 2. This, see, the problem here is the education value because we haven't researched them properly. But also, if we check the education in general, um, there, there should be a lot of educational stuff for them. Like, I really don't get it. Uh, but you know what we can do? How many of the educators do we have? Um, well, one. See, at, at this point, we can just plop down more educators simply because they will do their job now <laughs> which is great um and now we can just also spend some more money on all our people no all of them and do a proper next level there you go making sure that this is all good and it's about to mate god the zoo is so crowded at some point but the guest flow is becoming a tad bit better i'm not you know i'm still having that huge issue here are they queuing or are they viewing? They are viewing. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, see? I'm gonna have a little fix for that now. Let me just give, get this thing here. And make that one bigger. And we're just going to do that. And then we're just going to... Going to make that smaller. And bring the staircase down. Awesome. And um, we are also going to have the... Yeah, that's nice. And we're going to have the railing on elevated. Nice. So we have that. And then you can give me these things, please, real quick. And then... Oops. No, let me just do this. And then... Boom. Boom. Uh, spotted protester. Why? Like, 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 like seriously, why? It makes no sense. Like there, okay. I'm gonna check why we have protesters in here, but I'm uh, a bit confused. I'm a bit confused to why we have protesters in this zoo. It makes not super much sense at this point, um, but I think it's fine. Okay, so what we also need is an, an education board. There you go. We can also have like a smaller one, but this is the only one giving us the percentages. Why? <laughs> That is a that's a weird one. Okay. Now rotate this a little and obviously it's a red crown crane. I like that image. I really like that image. So they can actually go up here and have a way better look over over that area. I hope they are getting a lot of babies because we need a lot of cranes in there. So vet research is done. So can you tell me why we have protesters in here? So the animals should actually all do good. Oh. Well or not. So, King, King Penguin, and what is your issue over here? Social enrichment? What? What's? What's the deal? 
what is your issue? Social. Animal has severe social issues. So stress. Oh, they are so stressed over here because of the people, I guess. Mm. Oh, they don't have a shelter. Okay, so we gotta give them a shelter here in the background. Um, I think that's a pretty easy one. Let's see if we can steal something. This is... Uh, what about the roof? I like the roof design so much that this can become our shelter. Let's just grab that one because that's also from the zoo in itself. And then we can just make that the shelter in the back. Look at that. Okay. Now, we are going to split that from the group. It's its own group now. And we're going to make that rotate 180 degrees. Oops. Hello. Like that. And then you go in like so. Just connect them. Nice. Yep. It can actually stay that way. And then we're just going to move that up. There you go. And we move that one up as well. It's just the front, so... You know, that should be fine. Nice, I still have the random rotation on. It's kind of annoying. Um, let's see if that already helps making it all a bit better. And oh, that's already 100% hot shelter. Nice. I think we will we will be able to get them going once this all is settled. I'm, I'm not focusing too much. Obviously, it's it's way too crowded over here, but it's gonna, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be better as soon as the whole zoo is filled and it's all being uh, a lot more in, you know, just a lot more... Um, separated in the different areas because we will have more interesting animals everywhere so it's not like as crazily crowded over here so that should be all good let's have a look are you going better now yeah the stress level is going better enrichment obviously would be a, a huge thing stress is really making making a huge impression over here uh, what we could do is we can first of all a couple of little things okay so we can first of all put some ambient speakers in and uh, this is going to be underwater by the beach, insects of the frogs of the jungle. Yeah, let's do the rainforest. Not sure what exactly we should do, but I'm going to put some of them in. So maybe they have a better time with this. Okay. And now we go to security stuffy stuff here and say, please, guys, please be quiet. You know, that would be needed. Be quiet, guys. Yeah, it's a bit of a it's it's a bit of a struggle that they obviously go up here to see the animals. Um, something. Yeah, there are the protesters. Of course, they are here. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. Hmm. I mean, I could block them off for the moment so that they are just in the background here. Um, could be a thing. Could be a thing. Okay, let's check if the welfare is becoming less of an issue. Yes, it is. Okay, so the only one that has an issue is this king penguin over here. Um, while I don't exactly know what your issue is exactly, maybe it's the traversable area problem that you... Yeah, exactly. I thought about that. You're being born in the wrong uh, position. So, brought over and then... So, why can't they go out here? Uh, okay, so the babies can't actually go in. That is interesting. But anyways, it's it's an easy fix that way. God, look at how crowded it is everywhere. How many... And we only have 3,700 guests. Um, yeah. Can I limit the, the amount of guests, by the way? Animals guest setting, there you go. Oh, I can limit this. I mean, it, it, it won't make me as much money then, but and at the end, we can definitely do so and then make sure that the guest flow is nice. See, this guest flow in the middle is becoming a lot better. Well, we can also get rid of this, by the way. Um, we made them dive. But yeah, so this is a bit it, guys, um, for today's episode. I really like this new area with the crane, and um, hopefully you guys did too. We are definitely going to explore 
uh, new ponds <laughs> in uh, this um, wonderful Aqualand because definitely with the new animals we have so much more to do. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next. Um, I'm tempted to do the small Claude Otter, but maybe you guys want to see more. Until then, have a good time. Thank you for your ongoing support. If you like the stuff, want to see more of it, subscribe to the channel. Always helps me out and also gives you notifications whenever there is a new video. So thank you so much. Stay safe. Until the next one, and goodbye.